Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to uh, tell you how this move SP instruction works in uh, EMU8086 environment. This is the EMU8086 environment, and I'm going to test it. This move SP or move string byte or move string instruction in EMU86 environment. Uh, we have already created other instructions in EMU8086 environment, right? So in those tutorial, we have learned how those instruction can be analyzed and their result can be analyzed in, in this environment. So now we are just testing this move SP instruction. Uh, furthermore, I have already explained and created a, move, an, a separate tutorial on this instruction, how this instruction works. So in that tutorial, we learned that this uh, instruction is basically uh, a string instruction and this string instruction is used to copy the content from consecutive memory location into another uh, consecutive location. For example, uh, I have shown you uh, a portion of memory location which are basically present in data segment. That is why this DS is used here. DS is shown for stand for what data segment. So data segment will be used as a source. So that is why SI is used as an offset instruction, offset uh, operand. So DS colon SI and there are consecutive locations at which some data is stored. For example, five two seven four eight a right. And the, these locations will get copied sequentially using this instruction move SP, right? So that means we are not going to just copy one location. We will be copying uh, sequentially uh, these instructions or these locations to this this uh, segment to another segment. And the destination segment, we will use extra segments. That is why ES is used for, uh, for, the, for as a prefix override and DI is for destination index, right? So this content will be moved, right? So first of all, we need to have two different segments so if you are following uh, this uh, okay first of all if you see that this ds and es both have same value so i will change these values so that they actually point to different locations in memory segment so let's say what how we will do it move uh, move first of all let's say we want to feed the value of 0 to 100 into ax so first we will move it into any data register i'm using ax and then we will copy that data register into ds so ds comma ax and next part next thing what we will do move uh, let's say ax uh, 0 300 hex okay and move uh, es comma ax so what is going to happen both of these values data segment values which are earlier 0 0 for that means they are pointing to same area and but we want to have to point them to different location to distinct location that is why i'm changing their base values so if i'm going to emulate it and let's say i'm going to run it full code so i hope you can see that you can see that that now the value of zero uh, ds is 0 200 and es is uh, 0 300 just let me show you if uh, somebody is unable to visualize it look you can see that over here ds value is what 0 200 now and es value is now 0 300 the next thing now ds is pointing to different location es is pointing to different location okay for what i've done i can just simply write over here just to more liberate it uh, it has become 0 200 colon something okay and the similarly extra segment extra segment would have become 0 300 uh, colon something okay that something could be any number it could be uh, start 0 0 it could be final number four times f because we are talking about hexadecimal entry right so now uh, since both are pointing to different segments now we can do this thing but first of all data segment need to have these values so th we will feed these values so we will write a code for over here okay let me first of all remove this yeah now i can uh, write the code over here so first entry is 52 okay so or 52 so how you would do it you will simply write data segment colon and since let's say we are starting from the very beginning so it will be simply zero zero okay and comma five two hex i hope you remember this is a addressing mode we have already covered if you haven't covered it i will put a link over here this is a direct memory addressing mode i'm using it so if you haven't uh, cover this tutorial uh, you should watch that tutorial first because uh, uh, you need to know what is data what is direct memory segment and I'm accessing a direct memory and putting some value inside it. So this is a direct memory addressing mode. 
and right now i'm using it okay uh, so next thing move ds colon let's say next entry is 01 because we are talking about each individual byte so next value is what 74x so i'm going to put 74 hacks then the next value ds colon uh, 002 hacks colon uh, the next file, sorry, okay, now there will be no hacks because we are talking about direct memory content. So it could be what 8A, right? And just to, because I'm going to run this complete program in one go, so I'm going to place one halt command just to run this uh, code smoothly. So I'm going to press emulate button and now this run button. So all the code has been executed. That means we must, these values must have been stored at certain location. The location is what? 0200 colon 00 for this 52, 0200 colon 0001 for this 74, 0200 colon uh, 0002 for 8A. So, right, we want to verify it. If you want to verify it, you can verify it simply 0200 right here. Then, this is a logical address part. Uh, if you are not uh, keen, look, I can just highlight it for you. This is the part I'm talking about. Look. So, here I'm writing. The logical address, what is the logical address? 0, 200, 0, 0, right? Since I've written it, I have just to press enter. Now you can see that this is the first location, 5, 2. I hope you can see that. Let me highlight it again. If you are observing it, look. 0, 200, colon, 4 times 0. This is the address, 5, 2, 7, 4, 8, A. And they are physical addresses. Look, this is a physical portion is also shown here. So physical portion will be equals to about how much to uh, 20 bit long. So that is what 20 bit long. Otherwise for logical address, we will have two uh, uh, 16 bit addresses separated by a colon, which is called logical address. Uh, I've also created a tutorial on physical logical addressing. And I hope you have already gone through that complete tutorials because uh, this is something very important in 8086 environment. Okay. If you haven't, I, I will put a link again on uh, about those tutorial. Otherwise, this is quite so simple. So let me highlight this uh, notations for a while. Okay, if I'm gonna put it. Okay, why it is not? Yes, it's gone. It is also gone. So now we know that these values are already stored in what is stored in uh, data segment now we want to use this instruction the actual function of this tutorial actual purpose of this tutorial we want to utilize this instruction remember these is the value which is going to get copied here and the next value and then next value but remember we one of them will be used as data segment and other will be used as a what as a extra segment or a, as a source or destination so let's say we want to put certain value as a in those destination and source index as well so that they will increment and you will notice okay they are incremented in so okay this time i'm gonna play it uh, uh, line by line because whole command won't help us to understand so move let's say first of all we are putting certain value uh, or we don't need to put because you can see that SI and DI both are at zeros value. So what we will do, we will simply write move SP, right? Move SP, this is the simple keyword of this or the syntax of this instruction, move SP, move select string byte. So what is it going to have do? It is, it is actually going to get copied this location, DS colon SI. So DS value is zero 0200 and SI value is what? Four times zero. That means what is going to happen? Uh, this value. 52 because 0, 0200 colon four times zero is get copied to this location. And what is that location? That is 0, 0300 colon zero zero because di would be what? Di is what? Four times zero. Uh, if you want to just verify it, I can just show you now at this moment 0, 0300 colon zero zero, there will be nothing is stored at 0, 0300 colon zero zero. You can see that. I hope this is the area. Let me show you again. For example, if you are Look, this is the area. There is nothing, but it will be updated soon as I'm going to uh, execute this instruction. Okay. So uh, first time it will execute it. What is going to happen? This number will got, get copied here. Next time it will execute again. This number will got, get copied over here. 
in the next time it will get copied and this sequence will move on so let's say i i want to uh, utilize this instruction about three times okay so move sv okay i'm sorry let me okay yeah another move sv and another move sv so three time i'm going to test it and i hope by three time testing it will be very much clear so let's emulate this complete program first okay i'm gonna run it single step because i want to execute every code okay this is done this is done this is done this is also done yeah so so far i have uh, look this is the original source code i have already explained these thing in earlier tutorial of this playlist uh, where uh, i've shown you how this emu86 environment works so i have executed this code up to this point and now the next instruction move sv is going to execute right so what is going to happen if i'm going to press one more time single step that means this single instruction will execute move sv that means 52 will get, get copied over here and we will be testing it let's run sorry let's press single step yes so if you want to first of all check uh, 0 300 colon 00 look and i'm gonna test it you can see that it has a value of 52 and furthermore source index and destination index both have been incremented i hope you can see that look uh, let me show you again look these values are already incremented now because the zero zero uh, position or the zero zero index have been utilized 52 has already got copied over there right uh, that that means uh, it is already now five two hacks right so that means uh, one value is already there and now if i'm going to press one more time single step what is going to happen this next seven four will get copied over here so let's test let's let's test it and also you this will be incremented si and di so how i'm gonna do it let's test it so let's single step one more time and if i'm gonna check it zero three hundred zero 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 so you can see that five two seven four that means this seven four has been over there so i can write it simply seven four is already there now and furthermore you can also see this thing this is very interesting look zero zero two and zero zero two so si and di have been updated or incremented by one because one uh, content of data segment as copy to other content right similarly if i'm going to uh, utilize this instruction one more time let's do it single step one more time so all three values which we actually inserted ourselves in data segment will be got will have already been copied in data segment and the proof of you can see that five two seven four eight a right five two seven four eight a and that means this eight a is already now here So this is something very uh, simple uh, usage of move as byte or move string byte that moves your byte by byte information in sequential order and also updates your SI and DI values. Uh, though this explanation could be very simple, but why this video is so long? Because the earlier makeup stage, which is very very uh, very very uh, important to uh, implement was a bit long that is why otherwise this instruction was just we have to write just free one instruction only we don't need any operand but uh, unfortunately we have to also uh, created that makeup as well that is why this video is long but in coming tutorials when i'm going to test other uh, instructions of uh, spring instructions for 8086 microprocessor in a emu 8086 environment i'm not going to explain these earlier stages of program uh, because I have already explained in this video tutorial. So this video tutorial will serve as a base and foundation for upcoming string instructions executions. And I hope this video tutorial is useful for you. Still, if you have any confusion or query regarding this move SP or string instruction in journal, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.